Hey guys, it's Ox and welcome to or welcome back to my channel for day six. Oh my god, six now already? Jesus, day six of the Summer Siren Greatism Challenge. Of course, created by the lovely Permapup here on YouTube and Twitter. Link to all of their socials will be down below. Today's prompt is, ooh, today's a fun one. Today's polluted waters. So as we can see, we have a very, oh, a very green mermaid here and a very thin and frail one at that. I kind of fully leaned into like the sick mermaid. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost a little bit like graphic what I've made. <laughs> like it's, it's a little, it's a little freaky. It's a little, I don't know. Let's hope YouTube doesn't like smite me or anything for my creation, my slightly creepy creation. Yeah, I just went, oh, I went full out on this prompt. I feel like it's pretty, like, self-explanatory, but I love, like, just how many different interpretations of it there could be. I love it. And I love, I don't know, I love this prompt. This is definitely my favorite prompt. I think Maddie said, too, in her video that this was also her favorite prompt, and, like, I see why, because it's such a cool prompt. You really, you really popped off with that one. <laughs> but, yeah, so this sim is full green. I wanted to kind of do, like, this kind of fading tail. Maybe it even looked, like, fleshy. Like, scales had kind of been rubbing off. Maybe there was a little bit of, like, red rising to the surface. You know what I mean? And then I just went with the full, full green skin. I had these eyelashes on her for the longest time that had, like, these clumps of white. And then they're actually, like, this christmas set from i believe twisted cat and like my vision my initial vision was that it was like little pieces of plastic kind of stuck in her eyelashes and i'm like no this just looks stupid i'm gonna go to regular eyelashes i liked the idea at first but the more i looked at it from a distance i'm like no this just looks stupid but that that's my reasoning with why i did that so got some dramatic crying makeup because why not no clothes on this mermaid absolutely whatsoever i mean obviously there's scales covering up anything but like there there's no source there's no bit of humidity on this sim except for the hair which is still like a very like messy cut almost like it it's been like shredded there's also some scars and like i think i put this like big like veiny thing on her neck and i'm thinking like maybe it's a bit of like an infection or something oh my god i might have got it out of this video but i had like this piece of cc that was like oh my god how do i describe it it was like a pink so i had this idea for polluted waters right because when i think of polluted waters i think of the album plastic beach by the gorillas and like i don't know for some reason i just pictured like because the whole lore behind plastic beach is that you know collect a bunch of plastic in the ocean and then the, he just fucking spray painted it like this bright pink color so i thought it would be really funny if we had this mermaid who just like accidentally got hit <laughs> by like the making a plastic beach so had like this like pink streak of like paint on her i, I don't know i thought that would be really funny Th nobody knows what i'm talking about if you don't listen to gorillas you're like what the hell are you what huh why why are they making beaches out of plastic i don't know it's a great concept album it's mwah. Had it, had it on while I was making this sim to really get in the mood. It really, I don't know, it's definitely aged very well, too. They were they were ahead of their game with that shit. And then they set us back 10 years by trying to introduce NFTs. But they got, who they got shut down. They got shut down fast, thank God. I love how I'm talking about obscure gorillas lore now in my video. It, it always ends, it always ends with this. No matter what I do, I have to throw in a tangent like this. But that's my creative process, so suck it. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of getting to the end of this. I'm going to start wrapping it up so I don't run out of time. Of course, thank you to Maddie, a gay primapop, for creating this wonderful challenge. Of course, all their socials are linked below, so go check them out. And I'd also like to thank my patrons, Jacqueline Dream, Hano, and Esther. If you'd like to support me and my YouTube channel, the link to my patron is down below. It's only $1 a month. And you get your name shout out at the end of all of my videos. However, that is never a necessity. Again, thank you all for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next video of whatever I make.